I think if we look through the different kinds of communities and cultures we have in the world today and the ones that we know about in the past, it's really hard to find any culture or community that doesn't have music. It seems to be something that we all need as individuals and as groups. We, we need it for our own well-being and we need it to express to other people who we are as individuals, as groups. So music seems to be something that's really basic and essential to being a human being, unlike driving a BMW or buying stocks and shares or reading the newspaper. So if it's operating at that level, one would have to be optimistic about the future of music, because as long as human beings are doing what they do, then they will make music part of their lives. Um, of course, in the last hundred years or so, we've developed new ways of accessing music. And in particular, we've developed the notion that to get hold of a bit of music, all you have to do is to press a button. Up till then, the music that you heard was music played live with an earshot. Now you can press a button and there's the music for you. And it's easy for even us musicians, and certainly many other people in the world, to assume that that's what music is, something that emerges from a machine when you press a button. Of course, what people don't remember is what lies behind the experience that they gain when they press the button. And in particular, I think um, governments are not particularly good at recognising that music is something that has to be made. Uh, to make it, you have to learn how to do it. Um, you have to be creative. You have to be able to work in groups and so on. So um, that creates a little bit of a challenge for us. But nonetheless, the fact that we all want to make music has led to that fantastic richness and diversity of music that we have on the planet. Uh, you go to an Ismay conference or you go to WOMAD or wherever you might go to, you're going to hear musics from so many different places. Um, and that's a wonderful expression of the diversity and richness of the planet itself. And as long as we don't all become totally uniform on the planet and have to wear the same clothes and eat the same food, hopefully we'll continue to have different musics. The, uh, the thing that, I, that interests me a lot about young people is that although people claim, it's, although it's often claimed that young people merely sit there and press buttons and don't really live in the real world, but only in a kind of virtual world, is what impresses me is how many of them are actually very interested in the making of music. More, more young people, I'm sure, are making music in the world than ever have before, and that's not just because there are more of them. Uh, young people will, they may have all their iPads and so on and listen to music, but they are interested in doing it. doesn't matter what the music is. They might, they want to sing, they want to pick up a guitar, they want to learn classical music, they want to play a violin. Give people the opportunity, young people, the opportunity to make music. And in my experience, they'll, they'll grab that opportunity. So they quickly begin to learn the values of making music. And of course, those values are very many. So as long as young people are continuing to make music, despite all the technology, despite the fact that all you have to do is to press a button, then one has to feel optimistic. The, uh, the institutions which support music are often under threat, particularly at a time of financial crisis. Uh, for some reason, um, not everybody seems to think that it's important to invest in uh, the development of skills in music. Um, but even if, even if all the conservatory of the world were closed down tomorrow, even if every symphony orchestra, every jazz band were told they couldn't play, they weren't allowed to, people would still be getting together in groups and making music. Uh, making music that um, they think is right for them and that expresses who they are. It's, it's the kind of thing that's really hard to stop. Um, why we have it, I don't know. Um, that's a, a mystery which the neurologists are busy trying to explain. Um, but it's something which is so essential to well-being, I can't see anything happening to music other than that it would continue to flourish as long as human beings are here to enjoy it and make it.